Yeah. Tucked away in a quiet corner of the Sydney Children's Hospital is the Helmet Clinic. It's a place for cheers. 25 2. Ooh. And the occasional tears. Oh, no, 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 no. These tiny patients with their distinctive headwear are affectionately known as flathead babies. It's positional plagia kephaly, which is uh, a condition caused by the, the necessary bendiness of children's heads. Dr Erica Jacobson runs the clinic. She says the condition is very common and mostly caused by babies sleeping on their back. And laying them flat on the back is good for preventing SIDS. So this is an acceptable after effect to that. Once a month, dozens of little ones up to 15 months of age pass through for a checkup. Oh, what's that? It's all off, isn't it? Lily is showing good progress, but unfortunately Flynn is getting worse. It's just, he just does look like he's more pointy and a bit flatter there and like it's not really moving out. It's just pretty much because he was laying on that side. He, he had really stiff muscles and he'd favour it all the time when he'd sleep. He'll be fitted for a helmet and Dr Jacobson also orders a CT scan. This clinic, sometimes they come with a positional plagia carefully and I look at them and go, yeah, you've got something else going on. We'll get you to the craniofacial clinic. There's no pain or discomfort, but it is important to tackle the condition before the skull fuses. When did Holly start sh showing signs? Uh, basically, uh, pretty much from when she was born. Kat McCreeth is a nurse in this very hospital. Yeah, I knew that it wasn't anything surgical. Yeah. Uh, but that it is just all cosmetic, but it's definitely a problem. Holly isn't all that fussed to see Roger Dart today. He's been fitting helmets for 15 years. What are they made of? Um, the helmet is made of a similar material to your Tupperware plastic. Oh, really? It works a bit like a vacuum, and each one is custom made. We put the firm material on the pointy parts of the head, and we put the soft part where we want them to grow into, basically. We aim for a, a relatively close as we can to a perfect shape, but sometimes you never get there. <laughs> You've got all the, the makings of coming good, actually. Yay! <laughs> you teaching them all to smile like that? <laughs> I wish they're gorgeous. We've had a lot of crying this morning too, don't worry. <laughs> These are kids who really are basically lovely, happy, normal kids with a minor problem that we can fix. And that's nice too. It's, it is, it's a nice balance. Hey.